Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'll be demonstrating how to correctly use dynamic height within your designs. Now you'll see that what we have here is a common layer structure that does not have many folders in the actual design. But what we have are sections such as our header, our first content block, and our second content block. Now these should be denoted within our actual layer structure, but if we were to export this as is, you will note that Export Kit will actually translate each element based on its actual position in the design. So we're going to test this and then we're going to take a look at applying dynamic height to this. Now once we log in, we can tab over to the Exports panel and we can select HTML5. Because we're not using dynamic height, we can actually export this as is, and then take a look at the output. Now once our export's complete, we can navigate to our browser. We can simply drag our output onto our browser, and you'll see that Export Kit maintained each element and its position along with its size. Now if we were to go back to our design and we were to apply dynamic height to this, you'll note in the output that each element will be stacked. And this is because we're not using folders correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to show an example of how your elements will render without folders, and then another example of how they will render with folders. Okay, so once our export's complete, what we can do is we can go back to our browser and we can simply refresh the page. Now you'll see here that all our elements, they looked out of place, and this is because Export Kit is positioning each based on its actual size of each individual element. Then it will stack it now in your actual output. So the problem is that because we're not using folders, the elements will not render correctly. So there are two ways to fix this. One, we could create a single group folder, and we could call this content. And if you open up content, what content does now is maintain all the elements inside of the individual design, but only the folder will be calculated with dynamic height. So let's go ahead and test this. Okay, so once complete, we can just refresh our web page again. And you'll see that it maintained all the sizes and uh, positions of each element from our design. Now, the next thing that we can actually do with the output is that we could separate each individual content block and to structureize our layers itself. So if we take a look at these, these are our actual header elements. So if we go ahead and we group these, you'll see that if we hide it here, our header is no longer visible. So we can simply call this our header. Let's assume this section is our content, so let's just select these elements. And, oh, that's the background for the footer. So let's call this our content. And let's call this our footer. Now similar, we could have called this uh, content1, content2. The name of the folder itself is irrelevant. What's important is the fact that we're actually using folders to separate our content blocks, including our backgrounds. So in this design here, and let's just go ahead and save this, you'll see that we have our individual background structured within each content folder. So what I'm going to do first is remove each background just to show how it will render if you do not include the backgrounds within each folder. If you were to include them separately, you will still have an unorganized output after you export. So let's go ahead and just remove the backgrounds only. And then let's export as is. Once our export's complete, we can go ahead and just refresh the browser. Now you'll see again the content looks very unorganized. This is because we did not include our backgrounds within each folder section. So if we go back to our design, you'll see here that now the backgrounds are included within each folder. So let's go ahead and re-export and let's see how uh, basically the difference in the results. Now that our export's complete, let's go ahead and refresh the page. And you'll see that once again, Export Kit maintained all positions and sizes of each layer and folder within your design. Now this is key that when using dynamic height, you must use folders to structure your content. Now again, we could have used a single content block and called this content. 
or used all three it's dependent upon how you want to structure your design as long as you include your background within each folder that is relative to the content section